2.4 million people incarcerated. That's what I think of as the mass tombs of our culture. And I think the only way we're going to empty the tombs of mass incarceration is if we have a whole new mass movement of relationships where people know their names and care for them and know them as friend. When you hear about someone in prison, you're just like, oh man, this guy's a convicted felon, but fits through a letter or a phone call. You start to get to know someone you, whose face you have not seen. And if you do it long enough, you're gonna fall in love with that voice, with that story. Prison's a great way to create a monster. It's also a great way to create a person who's just strong. When I got released from prison, I had just made the, one of the biggest decisions in my life, you know, to change myself, who I am, you know. So it was overwhelming, you know, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, and I still deal with a lot of it. I used to feel judged all the time because I was a former gang member on my tattoos, and they judged a book by a cover right away when they didn't even know me. And when I, I was underground mystery and meet these other people, they didn't judge me. They wanted to know my story. They wanted to know who I was. They wanted to get to know me. In Washington State, there's roughly the same amount of churches as there are folks in prison. And when we did that math, we realized there's a reentry community in every town. Jesus told us to be in relationship with the incarcerated. And if we can be a part of them having a chance at being able to live a life of, of love and service and joy and hope, how could we as Christians deny that? You don't have to be some radical gang prisoner reentry expert to do this work. We're working with employers inspired by the folks at Fidalgo Coffee Roasters and our underground coffee, which is the flagship inspiration for a whole culture of resurrection employment. Through One Parish, One Prisoner, we're now mobilizing faith communities across Northwest Washington to do exactly what we do, which is relationship. Being involved with OPOP has made my faith stronger. I've come to realize that God's never going to give up on these guys or quit giving them another chance. And if he's never going to quit giving them another chance, then I can't either. There are a lot of things that happen at churches that have ulterior motives, where it is, what's in this for us? We're going to reach out to someone in hopes that they're going to come to our church or something like that. And this isn't that. This is, we are going to reach out to someone and be in relationship with someone. I was at the tail end of 27 years in prison. All of a sudden, I started getting these letters from people I didn't know, but from the community I was going back to. I finally opened the letter up and I was like, pleasantly surprised there's these people who are happy I'm getting out. It's nice to know that when you walk out, you're walking out not to, crap, here comes another ex-felon, more, great, you're out. Let's go get a cup of coffee and figure out what we can do now. How can we help you succeed? Underground ministry helped me pay my license, take me to my courts, uh, put a lot of positive people around me. Underground ministries connected me with a good job. I work nights, I got a bank account, you know? They helped me get my driver's license. First time I've had my driver's license in my life, I'm 31 years old. With their inspiration and, and their dedication towards me, I started believing in myself and finally felt like it was okay to be, be myself, who I really am, because I hid it behind a mask for so many years. We want to share what's working, the models we're developing here in the Pacific Northwest with the rest of the country, where families, congregations, and employers can easily use these models to practice relationship and re-entry in every community across America. Your donations, they help this movement grow. You drinking underground coffee opens new conversations in your workplace, in your home, in your church. You and your community signing up to do One Parish, One Prisoner with us is how this movement grows, where communities of faith can be the gate into friendship and resurrection and welcoming our community home from the underground. <laughs>